What was that? Did you say that you wanted to watch another episode of Romance of the Three Kingdoms 6? Well, how fucking convenient, because I feel like recording another fucking episode of Romance of the Three Kingdoms 6. Holy shit! Last episode, we, uh... <laughs> We uh, taught this young new barbarian king why having delusions of adequacy can be a bad idea. This episode, we will uh, wait for the new month to gain an incredible sum of cash. I think being in Chang'an, uh, Chang'an is one of the cities that permanently gives you access to having a merchant. So I won't have to worry about that leaving. I'll see how food prices are, and we'll roll from there. But uh, before we get started, we're going to assign some folks to handling uh, issues here in terms of upgrading our our city. Um, I put the most important person, uh, at least in terms of energy-wise, on commerce, as I'm going to get more commerce next turn. Pokey Hokey shall be in charge of proving public safety uh, for this month, and Pac-Man Shing shall improve farming for this month. And let everybody else just relax, uh, recuperate their energy, and we'll go from there. So yeah, let's head on into January. Any attacks by Sal Sal to me? Nope. Cool. Sal Sal was defeated by... I gotta give credit to Wan Tan there. He is continuing to honor the alliance that was established between uh, uh, Wan Xiao and Sun Se. It's pretty cool. Lord Master Eber, I've just returned from my search. Yang Bo and Jing Ji has come to hunt the Yellow Tiger. Uh, I guess thieves. I am Yang Bo, usually best a bunch of thieves. I'm leader of this area. I'm Father Li. Now die. He failed to suppress the yellow turbans. Goddamn yellow turbans. Sal Sal's a little retainer. He may be the one to help rebuild Imperial Han. Through Lord Master Reaper's guidance, we've been very profitable this past month. <laughs> so have some gold. Thank you. I appreciate that. Lu Zhang has become commander of North Core. That's cool. I guess he's my ally, so why not think that it's cool, everybody? Alright, we have uh, more money at our disposal. Mo money, mo money, mo cash. So, I don't mean to sell food, I mean to buy food. Ouch! Ouch! Two food for a gold piece. Prices actually ended up getting worse. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! I am not! Not, 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 not. <laughs> um, not going to buy food under those circumstances. I am definitely going to fucking wait until prices get better. All right, more people have uh, gone up in energy. Who else is at 100 now? Not everybody. Um, however, Wu Bon has gone up to 100. However, it doesn't appear that he's uh, much capable at handling. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to send Wubon out on a field trip. Let's find another size 3 city here. Which I might have reasonable odds at uh, encountering some such. You know, a different size 3 city than what I was playing around with. There, I haven't been to Runan in a while. Was that Ma Tang? I think that was Ma Tang. Well, what do you know? Isn't that cool, everybody? Got to see Ma Tang there. He's actually got a job again, everybody. Isn't that cool? He's no longer his own sovereign, but yeah, way to go, bro. Way to go. Looking forward to kicking your ass again. <laughs> we'll send out Cheng Yen. Cool. Alrighty, uh, get, continue to give folks breaks. Uh, I will have Master Reaper talk with a few people. Uh, let's see here. Um, who do I want to wish to communicate with? Some folks that I recruited recently whom, with whom I have not spoken. Yu Chu Quan. I hope someday you reward me with the item map of the southern regions. Probably not going to happen. But it could. But it's probably not going to happen. Talk with Pokey Hokey. The number of cities you can build a palace at is limited. There's only seven or so. That's nice. So with Jay Gorky. Yes, yes. And we'll talk with one more person. Let's see what Cheng Yi has to say. A true warrior like me will fight and die for one who recognizes his true worth. Rest assured, I've already done so. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's draft some more troops here, since uh, we have folks better equipped to draft troops here. Like you, Chu Quan. <clears throat> that hit the food hurts. Hit the food hurts. 
However, the amount of gold we have at our disposal is pretty sweet. And the additional amount of troops that we got in this is pretty sweet as well. I'm going to go ahead and draft some troops here. You shoot loose, you'll be in charge. That'll be fine. No, I mean, I don't need to. Oops, sorry. I propped my feet up on my wall and one of them slid. Um, I mean, I have a place that's much closer to the front lines. I can draft troops uh, to send reinforcements from here to uh, to Chang'an would take three turns. One, two, three. To send reinforcements from here would only take two turns. So you little fucking intelligence bastards just get, get to continue to sit there and somehow through the powers of whatever the fuck you're doing gather intelligence across the entire empire and see approaching armies from this city. <laughs> this is Intelligence HQ. Reaper Intelligence Agency. Right there, children. R.I.A. Right. So, everybody else gets a break? Yep, we're good. I'll just continue to draft from this city. I mean, I don't have that much food right now, so I won't get too draft happy. We'll just wait and see what happens. I don't mind just continuing to relax back here and letting the turns roll by, though. Let Sal Sal continue to have some fun. When the time is right, I shall strike. You're like... You're giving him so much time to build up his strength. Children, it's okay. Relax. I'm building up my strength, too. You may have more cities, but I have me. And as long as I have me, children, I, I will take that over having more cities. <laughs> See here. See what our numbers are like now. Good. More people have upgraded. Upgraded. However, um... Hmm. Oolong is not as good at that as Kling Han, so we'll have him do that. Pokey Hokey is not as good as Zhao Bucket there. But they both have the same dream, so that works. Cool. I'll continue to give uh, everybody else more vacations. Uh, Mass Reaper. We'll just talk to some more people. Have a chat with Termian. It is my dearest wish to find the item, Book of Illusions. There's no other like it, Maju. I feel that it's time that we thought about expansion. Wan appears to be a likely choice. There are not many troops there. What does my lord think? I think that sounds like a reasonable suggestion. Mati has some small skilled arms. Let's take a gander at what's happening over there in Wan. Wow. <laughs> Are you asking for me to attack you, dude? I, I, I genuinely, genuinely think he is. I'm not entirely sure. I think Sal Sal's attention's just too fucking divided. However, I really don't want to crack open that can of worms known as Zhu Chang under no circumstances. I, I don't care if they're all foot soldiers. I still don't want that wrath to be upon me. I want that to go towards Sunsei, or Wontan, or somebody other than me. And yet, as I am the closest into central China, I mean, Chang'an is pretty much, uh, right there. Uh... Fuck. <laughs> I mean, I could attack this city. That just leaves me exposed to so many cities of Sao Sao. Which means, I mean, and Ye has quite a few troops itself. Fuck. Let's draft some more armored horsemen. That'll be fine. Uh, what are food prices like now? Have they perhaps changed? Nope. Fuck. That's not good. I might just wait until the harvest and then make my move. Seems like a good plan to me. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and blow through this turn as well. Well, before I do, anybody here that I might want to hire? Not a day. Maybe Master Reaper himself could go? Nope. Perhaps still holds a grudge against me. Perhaps still holds a grudge against me. <laughs> Don't want to hire him anyway. Jin Gui, uh, 74 years old. He is kicking. Zhu Ling would perhaps? No. Maybe uh, Chen Gui would? Yeah. 
I'm not gonna offer them money. Fuck them. Let's go ahead and cycle through some more turns. Whee! Boopy Isles attack Jin Ye again. I think uh, the reason why Wan is weakening is because uh, Sal Sal keeps sending reinforcements from there. And you know, uh, the recommendation is correct. I mean, I could easily attack and take that city. The problem is that I do not want to be the one who has to fucking face all of those troops. Woohoo! Good job, Ling Jing. I approve. Alright, so have you been in the dungeon over a year? No, go ahead and release you. Shingui, as good of an officer as you are, you're... You've got to be close to death, dude. You've got to be close. I tell you what. Now, nah, go ahead and at least try. Uh, you know, I'd like to have some of these officers. Well, I would. Wouldn't, you know, additional help, support to improve my cities would not be bad at all. Speaking of that, you guys are working slowly, safely and securely. I'll actually take you two off of that and have you improve uh, farm, because that's what's going to be coming up next. Civil. That'll be fine. You guys draft even more troops. And then I'm going to be waiting until um, the harvest. I do not have a whole lot of food at my disposal. Hopefully nobody takes advantage of that. Because that would be... How do they say unfortuitous? Yes. I believe that qualifies. Everybody gets to uh, go off on improving something right now here. Because uh, so many people have upgraded in terms of energy. And I wish to take a better look at this. Let's see here. Farming really needs to be upgraded, so I'm going to actually throw hmm, Master Reaper here. The other two people with Empire Dreams are pretty far down the list. Yeah, and Reaper G is even further down the list. Fuck. Commerce will have the two people with Justice Dreams, and that'll be all. Public safety shall be the people with control dreams. Cool. Alrighty, now I still have people who are just sitting around on their laurels doing nothing. I can have them try and do something. Uh, let's try Rumor here, perhaps. Rumor is in Lo Yang. Has more officers, sure. Perhaps, you know, Pac-Man Shang's not doing around a doing anything. Sweet. Cool, the city is confused. I approve. Perhaps we could maybe stir some more trouble in this city if we say use Wulong. Excellent. And I think that's all I can do. Uh, if I try anymore, it'll probably be like, ah, you're trying this tactic too many times. Yep. I didn't think so. That's okay. Check food prices once more. Yeah, that's reasonable. Fine, 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 fine. I will buy food at this rate. My daughter shall handle this. I will buy 10,000 food. That's a good number. The harvest is coming soon. And I'll be able to draft more troops with that. That'll be fine. Okay, that's enough. Ye will I commit? I will in fact commit. Cool. Which means I think I've already drafted from here this turn. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Okay. Time to cycle some men through to And Ding. Zhang Wei will handle this. He is going to move two hundred and thirty one. Actually, he's going to move 300 Armored Horsemen. Cycle forward to this city. Move, men. We're going to have... One of you uh, will have Mati. Go ahead and cycle all these Armored Horsemen out of there and into Chang An, my capital. That'll be fine. 
And we are going to very much consider an attack next turn. We certainly have enough food to support that now. Whether I wish to attack Lo Yang or uh, Jin Ye, not <laughs> Jin Ye Wan, I do believe I'd be going after um, Lo Yang. That will expose me to one, two, three cities of Cao Cao. If I go after Wan, that'll expose me to one, two, three, four cities of Cao Cao. This one is exposed to Lu Yao, and thus probably will not be too much of a threat. You know what would really be useful? If I had an alliance with Lu Biao. That way I wouldn't have to worry about that border either. Tell you what. Let's go try that. Officer, will I go myself? Nah. I'll send JG Mystery. JG Mystery likes to give uh, people gold anyway. So this will be cool. No? No? Hmm, what if I try 3,000? Really? What if I tried 10,000? <laughs> what if I tried 10,000 food? What if I tried an item? <laughs> what if I did it went myself? Nope, apparently not. What if I gave him a gift? What is my animosity towards him? 33? That shouldn't be bad. JG Mystery, you like giving people gifts? <laughs> oh, this is this is just too good. For for those of you who completely missed the joke, uh, you know, Mysterious JG is doing a let's play of Romance of the Three Kingdoms Eleven. If you completely missed that fucking point, then you're fucking retarded based on how many times I've noted this. He's told me that he needs to get a good publicist, a better publicist. Uh, but anyway, he's been giving <laughs> lots and lots of gold to people. Uh, Sun Quan, uh, Liu Kong, uh, Ma Tang to better secure his alliances. <laughs> so let's have JG Mystery, as a gesture of goodwill, give a thousand gold. To <laughs> this is rich. <laughs> I've come as a representative of my Lord Master Reaper. <laughs> ah, Lord JG Mystery, do you have something important to discuss with us? <laughs> my Lord thinks often of Lord Lupia. He begs you accept the small token. <laughs> ah, yes, I accept this bounty. Give Lord Master Reaper my thanks for his generosity. <laughs> it is a load off my shoulders. My Lord will be very happy. <laughs> Time to send... Nine other officers down there. <laughs> Went well. Lu Biao took one look at the gifts and smiled. He said to give you his profuse thanks. Awesome. So, let's see what his animosity towards us is now. 28. Cool. I approve of that. What is Lu Zhang's animosity towards us? Six. That's cool. Let's say, theoretically, what I, we wanted to try and form an alliance with Lu Biao now. Would that theoretically... <laughs> not Cao Cao. <laughs> not Cao Cao. Would it be possible if we signed a thousand gold and... Maybe I went myself? No. His animosity is not low enough. I'll think about maybe sending him some more money. We'll see. I'm going to attack next month. That I know for sure. But these people continue to build up their energy here. And, uh... Actually, I'm going to give JG Mystery a break there. So we don't give Klingon a break there. And assign two territorial people to the task. Although Pac-Man Shing is going to be coming along on attack next month. Where is the justice? So, tell you what. Didn't notice Mati down there. He can temporarily work on improving that. That's cool. Okay, moving on. That was probably too much war garble for nothing. Lu Biao's attacked Jin Ye again. And Lu Biao got his ass kicked again. Uh, if I attacked Wan, that would make Lu Biao's attempt at taking that city easier. Really, if I attack any city, uh, like Lu Yang, that's going to distract Cao Cao somewhat. It's going to make his attempts at taking uh, Jin Ye easier. 
And really, Lu Biao should be focusing on other people like Sun Sei and Cao Cao anyway, as opposed to me. I just thought it was uh, rich and delicious to have Mysterious JG give somebody a gift of gold. Yang Bo has rooted out the pirates and gained military experience. Ji Zhu has come to Anding. The heavens say Termian Day has until the age of 65. You heard it here, folks. Termian. Uh, 65, buddy, is as far as you're going to be going in life. Receive word that Cao Cao's Xin Gui. Hey, how about that? Didn't I just, like, release him from prison? Yeah, I sure did. Uh-oh, flooding! Ha-ha, Lu Biao! Ha-ha! Better you than me. An envoy has come from the Prince of Heaven. A message from the Prince of Heaven. The Han Dynasty is steadily degenerating and becoming impoverished. To stave off this end, we ask that you contribute 3,493 in gold to the Imperial Court. How can I refuse the Prince of Heaven? How can I refuse the Prince of Heaven? I didn't know the Emperor was in such straits. I will heed the request for money. You care so much for us, we are very pleased. We award Master Reaper with the status of Commander of South Corps. Excellent. Yes, that can cost a considerable amount of gold, but things happen. And uh, that takes care of this video, folks. Uh, join me next time whenever I proceed to uh, bestow new ranks upon people. And then uh, have a good VAR. It's Lo Yang or Wan, I'm not sure, but I'll certainly cause some mischief along the way. I'll see you folks later. Have a good night.